Gabe Medina <laughs> against John John Florence. That's a semifinal number two, but let's look into semifinal number one. We're talking about the Rocket Moroccan, Ramsey Bukayam, who has been excellent, scoring excellent heat uh, wave scores throughout this entire event. He's up and he defeated Kelly Slater in that quarterfinal number one to make his way into semifinal number one up against Italo Ferreira, the battle of the goofy foots flick. We'll see who comes up with the first one. See who's taking the inside at this moment. It's going to be Italo Ferreira and he's gonna hand over priority to Ramsey. Whew. I mean, he was super deep, but uh, earlier in his earlier heats today, we've seen him doing that. He's really liked to position himself super deep so that he can really drive through the barrel and he likes that feeling. The, the first wave, yeah, they were both way too deep, but this one, Italo could be at the right spot. Italo goes wide, finds a barrel, drags through there. Nice completion for Italo <laughs> Ferreira to start off his exchange in an entertaining flying kick up. I feel like we're probably going to see bigger scores just because the way the conditions are incredible. Right now, I mean, we were speaking about it before, but it's so glassy. I mean, this right now, there's not a breath of wind. I mean, it just looks so beautiful out there. What do you think about the positioning here, Michelle? Could he have been deeper in this barrel? You always think you can have been deeper. Uh, this one, obviously, he could have. But also, at the first half of 2025, here goes Italo Ferreira. He got a five-point ride on the first wave. and just punches through the back on the second one. So now you can see Flick. Italo's strategy, he's under priority, he's just gonna start feeding upon wave upon wave upon wave. We know for sure, here's another, here's another stat for you guys, that we're gonna have a goofy footer in the final. <laughs> Italo, way back, easily comes through for Ferreira, and he's gonna get two you know, meaningful scores in his score line to get going. So mentally, maybe applying some pressure flick and making Ramsey pull the trigger. Is this what Italo's doing? Ramsey's going to keep on hearing scores right now from the tower. While he, he, I mean, it all comes back to that first exchange. I mean, Italo pulled the trigger, therefore he doesn't have priority. So while he doesn't pr have priority, why wouldn't you try and sniff around and try and get one of these ways? Because we, he doesn't have the first choice. And I th like, um, I feel like making the final here in Tahiti is uh, one of the dif most difficult waves to, to get. Oh my goodness. Oh. <laughs> That'll of stop a sentence right there, giant alley oop, but, but continue on. Back here at the end of the road, and Ramsey Bukayam uses his priority, pulls into this barrel, and the tube monster, the foam ball, takes him out. He goes incomplete there, so he waited a long time. Oh, Ramsey is going. He seems really deep, huh? Oh, wow. deep there comes oh. out. Yes. Nice. That's what he needed, and we talked about it. You talked about it. Hey, sooner or later, there's one's going to come. He's under priority. He happened to be wide. Found the wave. Okay, some replays flicks starting here with Ramsey. Look at this. Yeah, Ramsey's super deep here, and almost oh. lost it there for a split second. Not the biggest wave necessarily, but in terms of deepness, incredibly deep got on that wow. foam ball once again and we know that the judges today have absolutely been eating that up they love it when you're touching that foam ball it just indicates how deep you are on the wave you can see he's shifted his weight so far forward on his board to drive through that section he's really good at doing that and then i mean now we have a heat on our hands right so section after section after section for italo ferreira and italo fires straight back Talk about clearing sections. He was deep on that one, went through one, two, three sections for the completion. So the heat is now starting to catch fire in the final eight minutes. Him was Idolo here taking off, threading this one through the tube. I mean, this thing was a long wow. barrel. That was really good. Obviously, he's improving on his situation now. Ramsey's finally dropped a substantial score. So it's all going to come down to this last exchange once these numbers get locked in. Your thoughts, Michelle, who got the better of that exchange? Surfboard shaper with a rich family history of building boards. Here we go, deep on the reef. Way to the south peak here. Snap stall. Nice little tuck under for Italo's. Just staying busy. That's going to be Italo's eighth wave, that seventh wave ridden. Take a look at this. This is not going to be in his score line. Yeah, this, this is not factoring in. A fun little wave. Great in a free surf. You'll take it any day. Oh, we're going to find out now. Everyone's saying go, go. Here he goes straight from the takeoff. Way too deep. You called it. You saw the positioning, Michelle. And look at that. 
Oh, it was just a monster down the line. Wow. Here we go. Well, time for Italo to use that priority. With 10 seconds, this is going to be the final chance, and this is how you close out a heat. Italo taking any opportunity away. Pulls into the barrel. Not going to come out of that one. Clock's going to run down without Ramsey getting a chance. So Italo Ferreira is, uh, hasn't made a final since Sir French of last year. And now he's made his first final of 2024 with an opportunity for a Tahitian victory. There's the numbers, 7.6, 5.67 did enough for Italo Ferreira. He's on to the final with some big smiles. We're feeling it unbridled enthusiasm and as his trunks say stoke it congratulations your oh, first yeah. final of the season right here stoke it brah yeah yeah I'm, uh, I'm so stoked um that hit was like pretty slow but i tried to like get the scores and then try to like building you know like because um Hansi has a priority and i was like okay i would try like inside ones and i had like a couple little scores and and yeah we was waiting for like something big but yeah, I think the saw was kind of like dropping a little bit, but it's still super fun. I saw like Gabriel's wave There's on no hit nest, before and it was like know? insane. So gonna... And I was like so psyched on, uh, on a channel, like watching the boys. And yeah, um, I'm so happy to, um, to be on the final. I know you got Red Bull pulsing through your veins, but tell me how energized you get after pulling in and shooting out of barrels all day long. Oh, Jesus. Uh, it was hard to sleep last night because I heard like the waves like boom and in my bed it was like this. And I was like, I'm dreaming or is the wave? And then, yeah, but I was super fun, you know, and um, yeah, I'm so stoked to be in the final and had all the support from the from the Red Bull team, you know, having like, have their boat on a, on a lagoon and having like so much fun doing the massage and, and eat with the, all the athletes. And um, yeah, thank you Red Bull and, and WCL as well. Well, we got about 30 minutes to figure it out. We got John John Florence, Gabriel Medina in the water. You've gone against both these guys a lot of times. What are we thinking? Who do we want to battle in the final today? Wow, that was a close call. Yeah, it depends on the waves, you know. And Gabriel had been like firing, and John as well. He knows how to get those like deep barrels, and then yeah, depending who gonna get the best wave. And um, yeah, but can't wait. I see you guys in the final. <laughs> there we go, our first finalist of the year. Let's go.